Hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to continue solving inequalities. But today's inequalities are going to be different. Now they would be involving the modulus function. But before we begin, let's have a quick recap. You have already seen what a modulus function is. Mod of x is x when x is positive and mod of x is minus x when x is negative. For all our problems, we would now be taking these two cases. In the first case, we'll take mod of whatever function is given to us. So mod of fx we'll take as fx in the first case. And in the second case, we will take mod of fx as minus of f of x. Now these two will give us the solution. So let's come to some examples and then this would be clear to us. In the first example, we are asked to find the values of x which satisfy mod of x minus 1 is equal to 3. In this question, we have an equality. So, we will now take the two cases just seen. In the first one, we take whatever is inside our modulus, that is the function of x as plus f of fx. So here we'll take it as x minus 1. Our function here is x minus 1. So the first case is mod of x minus 1 is x minus 1. And in the second case, we'll take it as minus x minus 1. And together, they will give us the solution. So let's come to case 1. In the first case, we take mod of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1. Now come to the question. In the question, we are given find the values of x which satisfy mod of x minus 1 is equal to 3. In this, replace the mod of x minus 1 by x minus 1. What will we get? We'll get x minus 1 is equal to 3. Now this implies x is equal to 4. So we have the first case. Take the second case. In the second case, we will take mod of x minus 1 is equal to minus of x minus 1. You saw here we took the two cases. So now when we substitute this in our question, mod of x minus 1 is equal to 3, we'll replace mod of x minus 1 by minus of x minus 1. And this will give us minus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now this implies x is equal to minus 2. So you have two solutions. The first solution is x is equal to 4. We have it here. x is equal to 4. And the second solution which you got was x is equal to minus 2. Now the question is whether these solutions which we found are they correct or not? Let's check. So if we Come back to a question which was mod of x minus 1 is equal to 3. And first we substitute, put x is equal to 4. What happens to a left hand side? In a left hand side, when we substitute 4, we will get mod of 4 minus 1, which is mod of 3, and that you know is 3. And this is nothing but the right-hand side. So our value x is equal to 4 was correct. It satisfied our given question. Come to the second value. Now put x is equal to minus 2 in your given question. What will you get? left hand side will be mod of minus 2 minus 1 
and that is nothing but mod of minus 3 which is equal to 3 and now this is also equal to the right hand side so both values satisfy so your answers which you got were correct come to the second question in the second question you are given a strict inequality now what do we mean by strict inequality here we have mod of x minus 4 is less than 7 there is no equality so whenever we have either less than or greater than sign only we call them strict inequalities how do we solve this again we will take two cases mod of x minus 4 will once be taken as x minus 4 the function as it is and in the second one we'll take it as minus of x minus 4 so let's come to case 1 in the first case we have mod of x minus 4 is equal to x minus 4 come to your question which was mod of x minus 4 is less than 7 now replace mod of x minus 4 by x minus 4 from here so this gives me x minus 4 is less than 7 now you've already seen how we solve such inequalities add 4 all over so when we add 4 all over we will get x is less than 11 so we've got one part of the question now come to the second case in the second case we take mod of x minus 4 is equal to minus of x minus 4 so in your question now replace so we take mod of x minus 4 is less than 7 as now minus of x minus 4 is less than 7 you can either multiply by minus 1 on both the sides and change the inequality or just open the bracket so you can do it either way let's open the bracket minus x plus 4 is less than 7 now subtract 4 on both the sides what will we get subtract 4 on both the sides both the sides we will get minus x is less than 3 now we will multiply by minus 1 so if you multiply by minus 1 you know that the inequality will change we've already done in the previous video so multiply by minus 1 we get x is greater than minus 3 now you see the inequality less than became greater than because you are multiplying by a minus integer you've already seen that earlier the inequalities change so we have two solutions here one we get from case one which says here x is greater than minus 3 and in the first one you got x is less than 11 we will combine both of them and write it as x x is greater than minus 3 but less than 11 so this is our final solution we will see one more thing here this is the solution now as i said we could have here i'll just write it here or you could have multiplied by minus 1 multiply by minus 1 both the sides and this would give us x minus 4 is 
greater than minus 7. Just because we are multiplying by minus 1, the inequality will change. Now add 4 on both the sides. What will we get? x is greater than the 4 and minus 4 will cancel. We are adding 4 is greater than minus 3. So you can do it this way also. Now, alternatively, how can we do this? Let us see. Then we'll see where does the solution lie on the number line. So let's see. Alternatively. Now, what is the question given to us? The question is mod of x minus 4 is less than 7. If you recall, we had done one inequality, which said mod of x less than c means x is less than c but greater than minus c. So now this is what we are going to use. So we'll remove the modulus sign and we will write x minus 4 is less than 7 but greater than minus 7. There's nothing wrong. We've just removed the modulus sign as we've done here. It The function would be less than the right hand side and greater than minus of the right hand side. Add 4 all over. Add 4 all over. Now why do we do that? Because here we just need an x. So we'll get minus 7 plus 4 is less than x minus 4 plus 4 less than 7 plus 4. Just simplify. See this minus 4, 4 cancels. Here you get minus 3 is less than x is less than 11. This is the answer which you got earlier. So the same solution done it in a very short way. Now let's see where does this lie on our number line. For that let's draw the number line. Now let's take 0 to be here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And these values go on up to infinity. On this side we take minus 1, minus 2 and the values go on up to minus infinity. Now your question says x is less than 11. 11 is here. There is no equality. So as there is no equality here, we will just take an empty circle. Come to the left hand side. You have minus 3. x is greater than minus 3. Again, no equality. So you take an open circle here. Now, all x values which are less than 11 and are greater than minus 3, they satisfy our inequality. You saw that here, values less than 3 are all these. From here, here. They are all less than 3 and values which are greater than values which are greater than minus 3 and values which are less than 11 are all on this side. So this is our solution. Now you would like to check whether whatever range of our solution we've got is correct or not. So let's check. Our problem was mod of x minus 4 is less than 7. Now, we got the solution x is less than 11 but greater than minus 3. That is all values on the number line which are towards the 
left from 11 and all values which are greater than minus 3 or which are towards the right of minus 3. They are the solution. Let's take one or two values here. So in the first case, let's take some value from the interval. What if you take let x is 0. Let's see, does it still maintain our inequality? So if we put 0 in our question, you see that my left hand side will be mod of 0 minus 4, which is mod of minus 4, and that is nothing but 4. And you know that 4 is less than 7, the right hand side. So it satisfies. Take one more value. Let x be minus 2. What happens to our inequality? Is it satisfied? Let's see. So when we put minus 2 in our given inequality, the left hand side will be minus 2, minus 4. And that is nothing but minus 6, which is equal to 6. And you know that 6 is less than the right hand side, 7. So this also satisfies. So the range which we have taken is absolutely Correct. So that was our solution. Now come to the third question. In question number three, we are asked to solve the inequality mod of 2x minus 7 is greater than equal to 7. Let's see. Now again, we will take two cases. So what will be the first case? The first case will be mod of 2x minus 7 is 2x minus 7 and the second case will be minus of 2x minus 7. So to solve, let's do the case 1. So 2x minus 7 is 2x minus 7 and minus of 2x minus 7. In the first one, for the given inequality 2x minus 7, we take this modulus as 2x minus 7. Our question was mod of 2x minus 7 is greater than equal to 7. So, replace the modulus by 2x minus 7 is greater than equal to 7. If you add 7 on both the sides, you will get 2x is greater than equal to 14. We have added 7 on the left that 7 cancels. On the right, we get a 14 or x is greater than equal to 7. So we have one part of the solution. Let's come to the second case. In the second case, we are taking mod of 2x minus 7. 2x minus 7 is equal to minus of 2x minus 7. Now, Come to the question, which was mod of 2x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 7. Replace the modulus by minus 2x minus 7. Now, let's multiply by a minus sign on both the sides. So, multiply by minus 1. On both the sides. As you know guys, the inequality will change. So what will we get? We'll get 2x minus 7 will be less than equal to minus 7. Now you see, if we add 7 on both the sides, add 7 on both sides. 
what will we get? We will get 2x is less than or equal to 0. But x is less than or equal to 0. So we have two answers here. The first one is x is greater than or equal to 7. And the other one is x is less than or equal to 0. Now, where do these values lie on the number line? Let's see. This part is to be seen. Now, let's say my number line is here. We have a 0 here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all these values this side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, this goes up to infinity and this goes up to minus infinity. Now your question is, first part gives the solution, x is greater than or equal to 7. Where will the values lie? You know that we have an equality here. So first at 7, we take a dark dot. Now this means 7 is included. All values which are greater than or equal to 7 are the solutions. So these are the x values which satisfy. And all values which are less than or equal to 0. Now values less than or equal to 0 will be on this side of 0. And 0 is also included because there is an equality sign. The values which are from here to here, they do not belong to the interval or I'll say to the solution. Now, let us check first. So, if you see, the same thing can be written as x belongs. First of all, we have values which are less than or equal to 0 so, and they go up to minus infinity. So, an open interval minus infinity, but 0 is included. So, we have a closed interval here. Union. Then we have 7 is included and values greater than or equal to 7 going up to infinity. So, this is our way of another way of writing the solution. You can check whether values belonging to the first interval minus infinity, 0 and 7 infinity, they satisfy or not. And then we'll also check values in that interval, which is there in the middle. Those values do not satisfy the inequality. Let us see. So we will check, guys. Let's see. We will first take one value x belonging to my open interval, this. You can even take 0 because 0 is included. Let x be 0. If you take 0 in your question, which was 2x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 7. Let us see whether it satisfies or not. So put 0, you will get 2. 0 minus 7 as a left hand side and this is nothing but mod of mo minus 7 which is 7 and that is equal to the right hand side. So see 0 satisfies. If you take some other x, let x be minus 1 then the inequality here we got an equality. We can See whether inequality is satisfied or not. So 2 into minus 1 minus 7. How much does that become? Modulus minus 2. 
minus 7. This is our left hand side. This is mod of minus 9, which is equal to 9. And you know that 9 is greater than or equal to 7. So this also satisfies. Check the values in the for x belonging to the other interval which we have 7 infinity. 7 infinity. Let's take some value. 7 of course will be satisfying. If you want we can see. Let x be equal to 7. Now if x is equal to 7 then my inequality is mod of 2 into 7 minus 7 and you know that this is mod of 14 minus 7 which is 7. Now that is equal to the right hand side so 7 satisfies. Take x is equal to let x be some value from the interval 7 infinity take 10 then my inequality will be 2 into 10 minus 7 and this is our left hand side this is mod of 20 minus 7 which is mod of 13 and this you know is greater than 7. So this is also satisfied. Now let's check the third one. What if we take some value from this interval guys? This one. Take for example 3. x is equal to 3. So let x be equal to 3. Now when we write x is equal to 3, our inequality 2 into x minus 7 becomes mod 2 into 3 minus 7. And this is nothing but mod of 6 minus 7, which is mod of minus 1, which is 1. Now 1 is not greater than or equal to 7. So values in the interval in the interval. Now we have that open interval. From where to where that interval was? From 0 to 7. So the open interval 0 to 7. They do not satisfy the inequality. Hence, x does not belong to this interval 0, 7. Now, let's see one thing which for our previous question 2. Here we said the solution was x is less than 11 greater than minus 3 can also be written as x belongs to the interval minus 3, 11. So, This is another way of writing the solution for question number 2. This is all about inequalities. For class notes and uh, practice questions with solutions, you can visit my website Prof. Priti. Bajpay dot com. Go to 
courses under that go to remedial you will find all the exercises there with solutions thank you for watching our next topic will be progression